do a day vlog instead of a week vlog and kind of show what my life is looking like right now. I'm a little annoyed because I forgot to set an alarm last night and this morning I was like, I'm gonna go to hot yoga. I'm gonna go on a walk. I thought I was gonna be all put together. I forgot to set an alarm, but woke up at like 9.30. So everything's a bit delayed and at this point it's almost lunchtime. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you me as a stay at home, stay at home wife, also trying to start a business and run my YouTube channel and all that. Technically, I am a stay at home wife because I don't make that much money as far as like YouTube goes. So my husband's basically paying all my bills right now. <laughs> but in this economy, not gonna cut it. So if y'all didn't know, I started my own business in March. And exciting news, I actually got my first client who is starting next week. So this week I'm gonna do a lot of like prep, kind of figure out how I'm gonna onboard and all that kind of stuff so I can get the contract and invoice and everything sent over April 1st. Oh, and my business is doing social media management, but for like local businesses. So I'll be going in and taking pictures of their team and videos and posting all that and all that kind of stuff so basically what I did at my corporate job but obviously way less corporate because it would be my own business and local businesses and doing it for multiple businesses instead of just one the start of this video is low-key a flop because every morning for like a while now I've been going on a walk and it's literally raining like disgusting outside so I didn't get to go on my walk this morning so I didn't really have anything to vlog just me like making coffee and feeding my cats this morning but another fun news I finally got all my gaming stuff set up well it's been set up but like nothing was like downloaded or whatever. So I had to update all my games and whatnot. I played games over the weekend. I feel like I'm going back to my roots here. So I set up my walking pad and I was like walking while I was playing games with my brother, my husband, and our friend. And that was really funny. So that's why my desk was out. But anyway, I'm actually not doing any gaming right now. I'm not gonna work probably until this afternoon, I guess, perks of owning a business. But I'm gonna do my Bible study. I usually pull up YouTube and or Spotify and get like some worship music going while I do my Bible studies. But a little update. I have been reading my Bible every day, actually consistently for like a couple weeks now. And let me tell you, that was the worst habit to fall out of because I just feel so much better, so much closer to God, everything, just because I'm spending time with him, reading my Bible like every morning. It's been hitting, would highly recommend. But I actually joined a women's Bible study at that new church that we've been going to and it's pretty good. It's about heaven. So we have like 30 minutes of homework to do every day, which I don't know, I've never really been a part of women's Bible study that had so much homework, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's getting in the Bible, asking questions. It's all about like the biblical view of heaven and kind of breaking that down. So I've been doing a mix of that and then just like my normal daily reading because I'm still trying to finish reading the entire Bible and I only have a few books left and I have just been lazy about it. <laughs> My Bible is still in my church bag. This is my tote that I always take to church. It's massive because I carry me and my husband's massive Bibles in here. This was actually the one that our old Bible study at our church in Texas gave us as like kind of a going away slash getting married present. So that's super cute. They all have their like notes in it. And then this is my trusty dusty Bible. Not dusty. That's just like a saying. Trusty dusty? Is it? Or did I just make that up? It is not dusty. It's just trusty. Anyways. What am I doing? And then my little church notebook and all of my pens and highlighters. Church yesterday was so good. It honestly hit like crazy. You know what church just like hits? Like it, it's just like so good. That was yesterday. But let's get into my Bible study. Like I said, I listen to music, so I'm gonna put my headphones on. finished up my Bible study. I thought there would be one for every single day of the week, but I guess it was only four days. So I have one more day left of doing that. Then I can go back to my normal daily reading. Almost finished my coffee and it's about lunchtime. I swear it's always the days that I'm gonna vlog that it's so cloudy and stuff outside. So it's like terrible lighting in the videos. Turn some lights on and let's make some lunch. So as of recent, I mean, if you've been watching my videos, you know, but I pretty much just make lunch for me and my husband every day. I have one more of my other preps left from last week, and then I actually need to go to the grocery store today as well. 
just stay at home wife things, making lunch for my husband. I usually try to have it ready at 12, it's a little past 12, but then we can spend his whole lunch break together, hanging out, eating lunch, which is a huge perk of my husband working from home, and I get to make him fresh, fresh lunch instead of having to like pack something if he would be going into the office. So I love that. I already talked about this in like other videos, but teaching myself how to cook has been one of my favorite things. So I pretty much cook all of our meals and I really don't mind at all because I like cooking. Um, but my husband will grill, which we haven't been grilling as much recently. We should get back to grilling. But anyway, especially since I let go for my job, I have obviously so much more free time than my husband does because he works. So I love just being able to help out making lunch. But since it's low key the topic of this video, I don't know if I've ever talked about on my YouTube channel that literally my dream life would be I'm a stay at home mom with a couple kids and then I have like a side hustle or like own my own business that like brings in the extra income which is fun because I'm basically setting up my life to do that right now obviously I make money on YouTube but then now with my business as well and I just love that for me but at the same time it has been stressful because I made really good money not gonna lie at my old job and we just don't have that like financial freedom anymore that we had when we were both making good money at our jobs and having a paycheck every two weeks and all that so it's not been as fun money-wise, but it's been fun having free time. But honestly, I feel like it was a huge blessing in disguise from God because I've been wanting to kind of venture off into doing my own business, but I would have never quit such a secure job. But obviously it wasn't that secure because I got fired. <laughs> After lunch, I'm gonna hit the gym and one of my friends actually just got a gym membership at my gym. So we're gonna start going together pretty much every day, which I'm really excited about. And then I also need to go to the grocery store. So I'll probably just go there straight after the gym. Then I'll come back and get to work on business stuff. I promise my days aren't normally like this. I just woke up so late today on accident. I forgot to set my alarm, which is kind of annoying, but that's, I guess, the beauty of working for yourself is I can work whenever because I could work after five o'clock, after six o'clock, whatever. But honestly, March was kind of stressful as far as starting my business because I had no idea how to do anything and luckily I have a lot of connections, like pretty much everybody in my family are entrepreneurs, so that has helped a lot. to put on socks, shoes, and a shirt. I don't know what shirt to wear though. I need to do laundry. All my clothes are just like on the bed right now. Or put away my laundry. It's honestly almost time to do laundry again too. I think this is, yes, I like this shirt. And put my sweater back on because it's kind of chilly. So since I'm gonna be going to the gym with my friend, we actually chose a program to follow and it's like a booty builder program. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Getting my fitness journey going again. Eating my meal preps, gonna go to the store, get healthy food. We are on our grind. Getting prepped, make sure my keys and everything. Oh, nothing's in here. Yes, everything's in here. Oh, my headphones. Okay, all my stuff, my headphones, and throw on my tennis shoes. Uh, I hate tying shoes, so I always just leave them tied. It makes it a little hard to put them on sometimes, but got it. It's so much easier in the long run. Or is it? Tell me why I just got the hiccups. Oh wait, are they gone now? I was really hiccuping my whole walk out to the car. I guess I'm fine now. To the gym. I need to open the Celsius once I get to this stop sign. Double caffeined up today. It's a rainy day, so it's deserved needed even. I was gonna try to do some chatting while I drive to the gym, but it's like literally raining. We are at the gym. I have a feeling it's gonna be a hard workout day, day one of the program. I've done this program before, but not all the way through, so I know it's gonna be hard, but at least I have a friend. So let's go work out. It 
is raining even harder now. But I just got done with my workout and it was such a good workout. Like honestly, I feel like that workout just hit every little like endorphin, dopamine, whatever the word is that I need. But I really wanna grow my glutes. So I'm working on that, getting my protein in. And I feel like I'm finally in a really good headspace update from my last video where I talked about this, where I don't feel as much of a need to like eat bad all the time. I feel like I'm kind of breaking that addiction, if you wanna call it an addiction. And I'm starting to really, really love the gym because I feel like I was kind of plateaued in the last month I've pushed myself to like go a little heavier in weight. And now I feel like I'm finally at the point where I'm proud to tell someone what my most recent PR was and I can do you know five ten more pounds each time I go and like that progressive overload so I'm just really proud of myself it's definitely been a journey let me know if you guys want me to do like a whole video about my fitness journey over the course of like one two months to kind of show my progress because I'm pretty proud of where I'm at still have a long way to go but it honestly takes like years to get where you want to be so I'm just taking it one day at a time now for the other part of my fitness journey going to the store to get some good food Food and lots of protein. Honestly, I feel like my biggest struggle right now is drinking water. I've been trying to up my water. I've been doing pretty good at getting two of these in a day, but I really need to be doing more like three a day, especially with all the working out I've been doing. So get this in. I'm also thinking about going to yoga tonight and maybe doing the gym in the morning and yoga in the evenings. Because for my birthday, my parents got me one, okay, hold on. For my birthday, my parents got me one month unlimited membership at the yoga place that I like to go to. So I might start that today and then try to go to yoga, even if it's doing like their stretching restorative classes. They also have bar classes there. So it doesn't always have to be like an intense workout or I can go to the ones that are like intense workouts, but you don't have to do everything they're doing. So depending on how I feel. I like to push myself with fitness because I love working out. Genuinely, it makes me so happy and I feel so strong doing it, but I just need to make sure that I'm like eating the right foods to fuel doing those workouts so I feel like I've switched my mindset and the lights green see you in a sec made it to the store I guess this is turning into a little bit of a chatty vlog but I just wanted to tell you guys that what am I trying to say I feel like my mindset has changed a lot with food over the past week because like I said in my last video everyone just go watch that one I only do good with like nutrition and health when I'm surrendering it to God like consistently daily asking for God's assistance and I was like you know what I just need to think of food as fueling what I love to do so what do I love to do I love lifting weights going on walks going on runs playing pickleball I love being active. I don't eat the food that helps me have the energy to be as active as I am. And what are my goals? So am I eating to hit my goals? Because I don't have a problem working out. I have a problem eating lots of sugar. So keeping that in mind, let's go to the store. Time to brace the rain. I think I actually have an umbrella in here, but that's too much work. I'm already like gross and sweating anyway. Here we go. Ah! I probably look so stupid with my camera. been working for a little bit now just kind of getting organized so I think I need to get my physical planner and kind of write out a checklist because my client is gonna be onboarded April 1st so I have kind of a lot to get prepped for that let's go get my planner I'm gonna kind of write out what I'll have Okay, throw in my pen. Figure out what all I need to get done because I need to, there's just like a lot. Okay, <laughs> so let's get through it. Um, I'll just put it all on my to-do list. So we'll need to send the proposal and invoice. I'll need to get their Notion board set up and just organize my Notion in general. Uh, get kind of the tools I'm actually going to manage with. And then I can start to work on kind of planning and their social media audit, which is kind of how I'm gonna get started with each client. So a little bit of work to do. And then I also need to start like editing some videos and whatnot for my channel. Okay, I got a couple hours of work done 
kind of have everything set up to officially start onboarding tomorrow probably said contract invoice everything tomorrow and get an earlier start on all of that but it is almost seven o'clock and i'm debating because it finally is cleared up i can either go on a walk or i could start my monthly membership at the yoga place and go to like a restorative session i think it's at like seven. Oh yeah so it's 6 45 so i'd have to leave like right now do i want to do that but if you literally came and got me and looked at me and then i walked and my shelves were falling and took me to the spring <laughs> instead of bringing the spring to me <laughs> So you want to go and walk with me? It's cold. Jacket. Pretty shivering the cold outside. It's pretty cold right now. I'm cold all day. Then I turn on the heater and then I get hot. That's why you need a jacket and go on a walk. It's recording, though. Yeah, I'm cold. I'm already freezing right now. <laughs> Did you hear me? Freezing. <laughs> what? Do you want to see my notion board? No. Why are you randomly recording? Because it's for the vlog. Well, I hope it's for the vlog. Why else are you re-recording? Mm, vibes, I guess. <laughs> Why is your laptop half closed? <laughs> but you're still using the little trackpad. Uh, yes, I'm doing it up here. What is your noodle? Wait, look at this. Oh, no. Abram just called an appetizer a food warm up. He's like, before dinner, can you do a food warm up? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna go on a little walk. It's not raining anymore, but it is a little chilly. And look how pretty, like it's like post rain vibes. Okay, this is not giving what it is in person, but like the light coming through right now. It is seven o'clock and the sun hasn't even gone down yet. So it's really nice, especially being like self-employed. I don't feel like I have to stop. I, okay, hold on, let me explain. If the sun goes down, if it's dark outside, I don't wanna work. So now it's nice because I can work later, mentally. Technically I can, but like mentally, you know? Ah, got a big gulp of water down. Ugh. Let's go. Are you serious? Wait, where's outdoor walk though? Doesn't exist. Instagram reels because I deleted TikTok because I couldn't stop scrolling. But now I watch reels. They're so much worse. So it's like a lot harder to get addicted to. Anyways, it's basically like a little hack for ch like keto chips. So this is just some cheddar cheese. I'm gonna break it into four little pieces. I like to double stack them so they're thicker. And then place them all around your pan. I'm gonna do some double stacked and some not. So just like this and you want them kind of spread apart so they don't melt together Then you're gonna turn it on medium-high heat and wait for them to basically start bubbling Then you're gonna take the amount of cheese that you have take that amount of pickles This kind of pickles and dry them out with a paper towel Then we're gonna add our pickles onto the cheese. I've never made it without pickles, but I'm sure you could you just do like cheese crisps it smells so good. Now just let that cook for a minute. Okay, this is the hardest part. Sometimes I do it good, sometimes I don't. But when it gets all crispy, you just want to. Okay, I've seen some people flip it and cook it for a second. Or others just let it cook till they're completely crispy. I'm not sure the best method. Okay, that was a good one. I also like to dab out some of the grease. Then you can season. I like to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Maybe a little garlic salt. Go a little cheese on top. This is such bad presentation, but <laughs> here is the final results. Do a little test, taste test. Looks so good. Mmm, it's so good. all of this to get just a soda. Oopsie, diet, or what's it called? Zero. There's actually just zero light down here. I can't even film. Uh, we're gonna play It Takes Two. What is it? It Takes Two? It Takes, yeah. The little couple's game. We live out in the middle of nowhere. That's what I'm doing. Wait, weird. Come 
morning. I'm actually up before Avon today, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the coffee on. I'm already dressed in my gym clothes. I'm gonna hit the gym with my friend again today. Getting a nice early start to today feels so much better. Okay, coffee is going for my husband. Gotta feed my cat. My cats eat raw meat, so I have to let it warm up in some warm water for a minute. You hungry, buddy? It is a little windy and a little cold, but I'm just gonna do a quick down the street and back walk, get a few steps in and get that sunlight in my eyes. So let's go. My hands are frozen. That was significantly colder than I thought it was going to be. Apparently it was 32 degrees outside. No wonder I was freezing, plus the wind. Um, I didn't realize I'm out of energy drinks. Didn't get any at the store yesterday, so might have to make another trip, but I'm gonna have some pre-workout. I don't mind pre-workout, it just hits different. Wait, why don't I put this actually in the shaker? Pre-workout makes me more like tingly, and it's not as fun to drink. I prefer energy drinks. Does this count as drinking water if I mix it with something? It's missing the scoop. 10.7 grams. Okay, I'm actually gonna weigh this out because I want to That's only five. Okay, well, half a scoop. 10 grams full. So two of these, essentially, is one scoop. I don't know why, it was like missing the scoop when I bought it. I feel like this lid is not on right. Ooh, yeah, very strong with the minimal water, but it works. Time for the gym. Gym was good today. I just hit upper body with my friend. We were there for actually like two hours because we did some cardio and abs as well. And I think I'm gonna go do like a chill yoga class tonight. Actually start that today. I'm working on some work right now. I'm in my second pair of workout clothes since I'm gonna go to yoga. That's what being really active on my super active days. It's just like change, shower, change, shower. It's like, ugh. And I need to wash my hair today. Hair washing is the hardest part about working out a lot. Anyways, I wanted to show what my morning was on like more of a normal morning, waking up before my husband, kind of getting my day going because I flopped on Monday. I feel like Mondays are just kind of always a flop. I offer myself a lot of grace on Mondays. I usually get things rolling more on Tuesday. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to share what my life is like right now. Stay at home life, starting a business, running a YouTube channel, all that stuff. And this is what it's like. I would say my life is pretty mundane. It, like, at least to me, it's like pretty chill. It's just kind of like go to the gym, eat my food, hang out with my husband, play some video games, work on my business. And I kind of like it that way. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.